we're going to talk about a lot with Coach, but um, getting back to, to LSU, and we brought this out. You brought this to us, but this is Coach's old LSU pitcher, the old crew cut look back <laughs> yeah. in the day. And uh, Coach, talk, uh, talk about this pitcher because this is about your – tackled prior to the Billy Cannon run in, in 58 against Ole Miss. You know, I got a telephone call one day from Marty Mule, who was a sports writer. And he, he asked me, he says, Lynn, did Billy Cannon ever thank you? I said, thank me for what? And he says, you know, to set up his run back, you threw Jake Gibbs for a 10-yard loss. And they, instead of having the ball in our territory, they ended up punting from their own 42, which Billy Cannon was allowed to pick it up. We well, wasn't supposed to pick it up, wow. but he did, and ran it back for a touchdown. And I said, well, there's many other plays in the game that uh, he wasn't supposed to pick it win, up. but this was the one that involved me. My only claim to fame, I guess. At LSU. He wasn't supposed to pick it up? No, I, he wasn't supposed to. I think after behind the 20-yard line at that time, he was supposed to let it go. And he saw it bounce and bounce right into his hands and <laughs> he took off and, <laughs> and the rest is history the greatest run back ever in the lsu football incredible you know? uh my mom and dad were there as teenagers uh, were they? when they were my dad went to struma they were there with the other million fans million so fans there. right <laughs> uh, i was telling miss cannon that miss dot uh, yeah. that when, when she came on our show a few years ago Did but you? yeah 